there is something about football that um, has all the elements of a great sport. It's the teamwork. It's the sort of the combat aspect of it. It's like, it's the purity of it. It's uh, of uh, like s strength and power and speed and all the elements of like last minute close calls required to, to win the game. And uh, where referee decisions, of course, that's essential for a sport, can screw up the whole thing. <laughs> just got all of it together, I think. Uh, just, I, I don't know, it gives the, the drama and the triumphs are just beautiful. Like some of my favorite memories, I don't know if it's an accident or this is common with people, is just with friends watching football yeah. and connecting over that. Yeah, well, it's look, it's an incredible game because there's nowhere to hide, right? You're out there on the field. It, you know, it's uh, it's a great game that requires not only all those attributes that you said, but it's it's incredibly complex game. So if you don't know what you're looking at and you don't understand how complex defenses are trying to disguise what they're doing, offenses are trying to overcome that, and and you can set up one play the entire you know, the entire game, but a team that plays well together, right? Knows their plays inside and out, knows their assignments inside and out, can overcome and beat a more physically gifted team because of that, uh, you know, work that that aspect of working together. One, one of the things that I always loved about sports is just you're out there, there's a set of rules and there's a scoreboard. So at the end of that game, it says, and you can make excuses about the refs or this happened or that happened, but you know, at the end of the day, did you go out and compete? And when you went out and, and were a competitor, how did it work out, right? And, and the simplicity of that and the purity of that um, is something that I always have been drawn to. What about the business of sort of uh, owning a team or putting together a team or trying to like build up a team that's going to be a great team? Like what are some interesting aspects that people might not realize that you can carry over from all the other uh, experience you have in business? I, I think the hardest thing about professional sports, right now it's individuals getting paid money to, to play a sport, which is different than, it's certainly different than amateur. And, you know, the decisions that are hard is when you get to know somebody who's a player on the team and either they're at the end of their career or you need to go in a different direction. And that person who's done everything that you've asked, you know, whatever the coaches have asked of that person and you get close to them. And then when they, when they have to be traded, released or whatever happens, it's, you know, that's sad. And being able to stand back and in some ways be dispassionate and not be a fan, right? There's a, um, I'm on the baseball hall of fame board. And, uh, one of the, the guys that's on the, the board of me is Jerry Reinsdorf. And I think it was Jerry who said, you know, if, if you act like a fan, you'll be sitting with them, um, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Well, I got to push back on that a little bit well, n n as, as a, by way of a fan asking a dumb question. Okay, let me just give some examples. It, it, it's very common in sport. It's funny you said this example of like yeah. certain great players going to another team right at the end of their career. And uh, it always makes me sad. It almost makes me want to wish that he kind of retired right there. Yeah. Um, from a perspective of just like, do, do, you, do you ever, as, a, as an owner, but just in that space, think about like, the Steelers in the full arc of human history. So not like as a business. I mean, I, okay, this, this I, question I, might be absurd. The good news is I don't have to think about it as a right, business. Right, exactly. You, you can know, just be I, a, I'm almost a minority like a owner, so I can think about it almost uh, as a fan, but I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. I, I suppose this is a dumb question to think of, um, like of a business in that way, not just investment, but like, like legacy of like, Absolutely. what footprint would you leave on this world? 
that, on that, this history. That is one thing that I can say unequivocally, and I, I only have the experience that I have, but one of the things that I'm so proud of um, about the way the Steelers conduct themselves is, and that's the Rooney family, that's the legacy of the Rooney family, is asking constantly about what's right for the league, what's right for the players, you know, what what what's the right thing to do here? And that that's something that I would hear Mr. Rooney say all the time. So I think that legacy is important because ultimately the team belongs to that city, right? Belongs to those fans. And, you know, the owners are the custodians of that. So I think, and when you realize what sports teams mean to the fans, the memories that it creates, the bonds that it creates, it's a, you know, it's a responsibility. Um, and I, I, I think that you do have to think beyond the, you know, certainly not just dollars and cents, but just sports is a very big deal in our society. And, and it has to be, I think, held to a standard uh, that's not just, well, were we profitable this year? Or what, that, that's, there are other businesses for that. It, it is certainly a business. I don't mean to romanticize to the, the point that it's not, but it, to me, it's it's more than that, or at least my experience has been that it's more than that. It's a source of meaning for millions of people. Like, and, and you see that most like during COVID, for example, when there's so much desperation, so many people losing their jobs, so many people having to deal with the uncertainty of what the future holds. That's right. There's something about the sports that just unites us. That again, the, the the tragedy and the triumphs of sport, of uniting, of gathering together with your shared friends, experience. with family, shared experience of over like this, yeah, over just team, over rooting for your team, for your city, ultimately. And, and, and the access. You know, again, as I alluded to, we, we didn't have anything when I was growing up, but I would pour through the box scores. I was a huge Yankee fan and Steeler fan and feeling some ownership of that, right? That I could read the box score and relive what they did and occasionally see them on TV and feel like I was part of that celebration when they won and everything. It's a very powerful thing. 